Hi, everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. Please subscribe and please let me know if you have anything specific that you would like me to talk about. I'm trying really hard to elevate this conversation about coercive control in our children. It's really important to highlight the idea that these children are suffering in these homes and that sometimes they're going to deny any abuse by the abusive parent. Sometimes they're going to align with the abusive parent and sometimes they may even flip the accusation over to the protective parent. So very painful, right? When there is one parent who has been extremely controlling, but maybe covertly, maybe really permissive in their parenting. And in that, the child is more readily going to align. I always say that children are most at risk when they're tweens and teens. This is when that authoritarian parent, the person who is has a regime that they actually oppress people under them, unfortunately, Hitler, that when they are behaving this way, it's much more overt and it's not hard to see. You may still regulate your behaviors if you're a child and certainly adult victim, but you're not going to be disassociating from what can be very scary. Somebody who raises their fist to you or somebody who really just corners you over and over again, or is in fact physically abusive in some way, then that's going to be easier for us to put our hands on to understand. The problem is that many of these abusers, and not all, are more covert in their tactics. And so I want to be really clear, coercive control can be any of these things. Just because you weren't locked in a room doesn't mean you didn't experience coercive control, right? Just because you weren't physically violated or sexually violated does not mean you didn't experience coercive control. It's a pattern of behavior to diminish another person. And there is a grooming process. And that grooming process starts off extremely loving and wonderful and intense. And so really knowing that it's extremely nuanced is helpful to us not saying, oh, I didn't experience that. So it wasn't course of control. I didn't experience that because it wasn't course of control. So back to these parenting types, I would say that what happens as these children reach tweens and teens is that authoritarian parent, because they're always authoritarian, again, could be covert. The children know that if they don't do what the abuser wants, whether it's watch TV with them, watch their movie, play their sport, they know that there's going to be some kind of retaliation. They fear abandonment like any child would from a caretaker, right? And so in that, this authoritarian parent may sometimes become extremely permissive in their parenting of tweens and teens. Why? Because it's a lure sending out the lure to get the child to be pulled in. And in that, a lot of tweens and teens are going to align with the abusive parent because they're going to get exactly what they want. Now, they also know they have to behave a certain way. And in that, they know they have to align with that abusive parent. If they don't align with the abusive parent, they're not going to get maybe the ability to be on their phone for extended periods of time, or maybe they're not going to be able to go out with friends and stay out past 10 a.m. Mom has a 10 a.m. curfew. The abuser has a later curfew. And so really knowing that this authoritarian style is based and patriarchal norms. So people say to me, we just, myself and my co-author, Amy Polacco, just published this book, Framed, Woman in the Family Court Underworld. Why woman in the family court underworld? Christine, Dr. C, why are you saying this? Because it's a gendered oppression. So here's the thing. All of these systems were built on patriarchy, all of them. Okay, and who aligns more readily and has the ability to assimilate more with patriarchy? Men, of course they do. They have more power in society. Of course they do. White men in particular. So this isn't, oh, this abuse doesn't happen to anyone else. This is if we can stop the abuse of our most vulnerable women, in particular women of color suffer at such a significant rate. If we can stop that, then of course, and of course the abuse of our children, then we can stop the oppression of everyone. So you see, this is a concerted effort. This is a concerted effort. And this goes back to this conversation about how this oppression is happening worldwide through our governments. And it's oppressing our most vulnerable over and over again. People who can't defend themselves in other countries, in our country, where people cannot defend themselves. Broaden your view, of course, of control. Understand that if you are living with someone like this, they are have an authoritarian 
style that they used on you and they're using on the children. But of course, they're going to use permissive parenting to lure the children back in. Be aware of that. Be ready. Understand you're going to have to lower your expectations. We cannot parent these children the same way. They have to be parented differently. I hope that's really helpful, everyone, and I hope you have a great day.